a challenge. Sit back and relax. You're in for a real treat with this matchup. Taking you the rest of the way, here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon. Coach, we will begin this challenge in the third quarter with three minutes remaining. It's all tied at 17. Your opponent has the ball on their own 25. And it's second and 10. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And that, Charles, you'd have to think, a pretty avoidable mistake. You're exactly right about that, partner, because it all comes down to covering up the football. Look, turnovers are going to happen. They're inevitable. But in a tie game in the third quarter, those turnovers can change the tide of the ball game. And now it's up to their defense to try and bail them out. Got to take care of the rock. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. On the return, it's Tariq Cohen. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. But the Bears look to get this one back, and indeed they did. So they'll keep possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Jamie Collins, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That's taken at around the 40. That's a 43-yard punt, aided as well by a loss on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Martin flexing the muscle. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give them the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. 89 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another tote for the workhorse, Martin. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 
In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. On second down now, it's Martin. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It'll go as a gain of nine, and that should write an ending to this one. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Nice job there getting the win. Next up.